everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm back and surprise, surprise, I have another Bath and Body Works haul. I just, I, the last video I posted was a Bath and Body Works haul and now I have some more stuff to share. So over this past weekend, they were doing um, three candles for $8.50 and they only do this once a year. Um, so I couldn't really pass it up. Adding the $8.50, which is a great price for the candles, on top of other coupons. I had a coupon that was um, $15 off $40. Plus, I had a coupon for a free item, which you can combine those coupons together and use both. Um, so, in total, I spent just over or just under $30, so $29.98. I ended up with four candles, um, and I got one other thing, and then the free item. So... I had the 15 off 40, so each candle, each item I got actually um, ended up being $5.50 a piece, which I think is a really great deal. So I'll get into the candles that I got, and yeah. So firstly, and for this they only had basically the Christmas and winter candles. They had a few leftover fall candles. I think this would be really great if they brought out like all the different candles so you could have like the summer ones and spring ones and really stock up, but you're kind of limited and you don't necessarily want to stock up too crazily. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. So I did get one fall candle. This is apple pumpkin pancakes. Um, the bottom of this says, start your day with a satisfying scent of fluffy pumpkin pancakes topped with warm chopped apples and crunchy walnuts. And I thought this one smelled really good. I really like the pumpkin pecan waffle candle. This smells a little sweeter, and even though this is a fall candle, I figured it's not too fall specific. I could burn it, um, you know, in other months and other seasons. So I did get this one. Um, cute packaging. It's the same kind of pumpkin, like bakery collection that came out this fall. So got that one. And then the next one I got is one I've had before and really enjoyed. This is Spice Apple Toddy. And this is part of, I don't know the official name for it. I think of it as like the New Year's sort of collection. So very festive looking. It has this kind of really awesome lid. And this one, the scent description reads, a sweet mixture of winter fruits, apple brandy, and spice plum will warm up all your winter celebrations. So I really do like this one. This is one I was considering. So I bought candles, oh, it was like a few weeks ago. Um, so this is one I was considering getting then, and I didn't. So pick this one up. And the one thing about the candle sale is they were out of some of the scent. So they had, before I got champagne toast, they were out of that one. I also got the peach one from this line. It's not peach bellini. Um, I don't remember the exact name of that. They were out of that at my particular store. Um, so I would say if there's a sense that you really like that might be really popular, you might not want to wait until they're 850 because they might be out of them. Um, some other ones I really like, they did have um, Marshmallow Fireside, which I already have one of those. I got that, picked that up in like the fall. Um, and Twisted Peppermint, they still had. I really love that one as well. So you kind of have to think like, is this one that could possibly sell out or is it one that they're gonna have a lot of stock of? So you kind of have to take a gamble, um, but the ones, the champagne toast and the peach one, and also the, um, it's the pomegranate Prosecco one, which that is one I was also planning to get if they had it, um, they were also out of that. So just a word of caution for like next year, um, sometimes the more popular scents are, it seems like stuff that's more fruity, which I feel like could go into spring that people might be more interested in getting that aren't specifically like Christmas um, or winter type of scents might be the type that might sell out faster just because people can kind of pick it up now and then um, use them for a longer amount of time. Anyway, uh, so they did have this, so got that one. Um... Then I got one, and with these I try to pick things that when I went a few weeks ago on candles, there's a few that I was like debating between. Um, so I try to get some of those sort of candles that I was like kind of questioning, should I get, should I not get? Um, anyway, 
Um, but this is one I was definitely thinking about getting previously. This is Joy. It's the Peppermint Marshmallow. Now, I had Peppermint Marshmallow a few years ago, and I really liked it. And I get Twisted Peppermint every year. That one's a very strong peppermint set. I really love it. It has a great throw. This one is a little more kind of a chocolatey sort of peppermint almost. Um, the scent description reads, Indulge in the fragrance of fluffy vanilla marshmallows, which are full of sweet holiday sweetness and peppermint joy. Yeah, maybe like a vanilla. I guess the marshmallow type of peppermint. Maybe not chocolate, but more vanilla sort of mint scent. Not as strong as the on the mint as the Twisted Peppermint, but I remember really liking this a few years ago, so I picked that one up. This one has a snowflake lid. And then finally, the last candle I got is one that I have had before as well. This is Winter, and I love the packaging on this. I love snowmen and like the snowflakes. I just think this is so pretty. Again, it has a snowflake lid. And this one reads, a fragrant, a fragrance that captures the moment when glittering icicles and sparkling snow transform the landscape. Pine needles, icy mandarin, and winter woods. And this is just kind of a classic Christmas scent. So pick that up as well. So there's the candles I got, as I mentioned, $8.50 each. With the 15 off 40, I got those for $5.50 a piece. And a few more things that I got. I did pick up one other item for $8.50. So these um, after the 15 off 40, these ended up being 550 as well. These are just some cozy, um, Shea infused lounge socks, which I thought were so cute with a little mouse. And it says not a creature is stirring, not even a mouse. They had a lot of like animal, um, print like socks like this, which I really love these type of socks, but actually these are going to be a stocking stuffer for my mom. So I picked that up with a little bit of a discount. And then finally, I did get a free item, and I swear, from Bath & Body Works. Well, I do buy their body stuff, you know. I can't say that I don't, but a lot of times I just get, like, the free item, and that get, keeps me good for, like, the body care stuff. So I just picked up a body wash. This is in Endless Weekend. Um, I do have some body wash. Not a crazy amount of back stock, but probably will be using this into spring, summer. So I... They have all the Christmas scents, but I'm, I don't really need to, to use like a body wash, like, or I'm not going to run out of my current body wash like very soon. So I got something more spring, summer. And yeah, that is everything. Just a little quick haul. More candles. I know, crazy, but yeah. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.